live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Informatica World 2017. Brought to you by Informatica. Hey, welcome back everyone. Live here in San Francisco for Informatica World 2017. This is theCUBE's exclusive coverage. I'm John Furrier with SiliconANGLE theCUBE. My co-host, Peter Burris with Wikibon Research. Our next is Justin Delano, who's the application man, business applications manager at Carbonite, a customer of Informatica. Welcome to theCUBE. Thanks, it's great to be here. So you've done a lot of interesting things. We were just talking before you came on camera. You took yeah. something really hard, moved to the cloud. It was really easy, so cloud right. helped you. It helped us big time. So tell us about some of the yeah. interesting things you got going on. Okay, well this is a, this is a great uh, use case which we've been speaking about here at Informatica World. We, have, uh, we sell through a number of distributors and uh, through probably 8,000, 9,000 partners. But two of our distributors, we didn't have an e-com way of interacting with them, uh, so we built up this kind of manual, semi-manual process. We actually called it the manual automated order process, <laughs> <laughs> right? That's what we called it. And so we, uh, so we built up this process and we just thought we can't keep going like this. We'd receive a purchase order in email, send it over to sales ops, they'd open it, validate it. Does this make sense? They'd agree, sign it off, pass it on to finance. Finance would open it, say, yep, makes sense key it into our, our Great Plains system, they would capture it in, pass it on to provisioning. This is for a SaaS product that we sell. It's just, it's, it's just not scalable at all. Yeah. So A lot of touch points through the... Too line. many touch points <laughs> and a delay for something that should be instant. So we said, so we spoke to the dis these distributors and said, well, what can we, what do you have? What can we do? We didn't have any options for API integration. So they said, well, we've got EDI. So we said, uh, okay, first question, what does that stand for? Because <laughs> <laughs> we, we're a cutting edge company, you know, and, uh, and everything that we do that is, is kind so of- so 1980s. I know, kind of bleeding edge. So we, we kind of did our homework a little bit and found out what EDI is, You're electronic- like, oh, Jan, what do we sign up for? Yeah, electronic data interchange. And uh, we said, all right, how are we going to do this? So we, we kind of looked around a little bit, spoke to our partners at Informatica, and they said, yeah, we've got an EDI, uh, we've got an EDI capability in the cloud. So we said, great, let's do a POC. So we did that POC, banged it together pretty quickly, which is the beauty of a SaaS offering or the beauty of the cloud. And, uh, and as we were building this out, we were working with our counterparts at these distributors, these guys who lived and breathed EDI for all their partners. And uh, at some point I just thought, you know, we're building this thing, I've I don't have anything to compare it to. How do we know if we're even building the right thing? We're just going on what we think seems to be making sense. So I phoned him up one day and I said, listen, would you mind just taking an hour and let me walk through what we're building here? Let me just show you what we're building, see if it makes any sense. And so he said, yeah, sure, I'll be happy to do that. He knows EDI, you know, back to front. And uh, as you mentioned just now, it's a very, it's a very complex, uh, very in-depth, old school kind of system, old school way of processing transactions. So, um, so I showed him what we had built out and it leveraged Informatica, Salesforce as a front end. It was a really, uh, really kind of bolted on solution, but we managed to put it together in a few months. So I, I showed him each part and at, at some point, or at many points, I was waiting for him to interrupt and, and say, well, hang on a second, why are you doing that? But he didn't, he was silent through everything. So I thought, okay, what have we done here? And uh, so I, I turned it over to him and I said, how, how, what, do we, how, what do you think? Is this okay? Are we doing the right thing? And he said, and he paused for a second and he said, yeah. He says, this is uh, actually quite an elegant solution that you've, you've built out in a few months. This is what's taken us 10 years to mature he into. <laughs> he was mad. <laughs> I, think, I, think it was a, I think it was a little mad. And, I just, and it, for me, it was just a big sigh of relief as I thought, okay, we actually are on track. And, yeah. uh, and we've actually been able to do something really quickly and elegantly through a SaaS product, through these cloud offerings. Well, that's but a great use case of Informatica because yeah. you've taken something that's hard, yeah. cloud made it easy for you to do, yeah. and you had no baggage. In this case, it was a greenfield for you. Yeah. What other end-to-end -end, uh, examples are you guys working on? Because data is now going end-to-end. -end. Sometimes it's right. multi-vendor, of course, yeah. um, but cloud's going to help you get there. Anything you got else going on end-to-end? -end? Any IoT, big data stuff you happening? No, uh, yeah, we've, we're big, I, IoT, uh, well, more especially big data is becoming more and more important to us. So as we've uh, kind of grown through our consumer business, Carbonite started out as a consumer product and has well over uh, one and a half million consumer um, 
subscribers and has moving into the moved into the very small business, then into this kind of SMB space and a little bit into the the enterprise space. And as we've been doing that, uh, we need to understand what we're doing, especially in that very small business through the enterprise space. We've acquired these companies. One of the key things we need to do as we acquire companies is identify opportunities for cross-sell and yeah. for upsell. And in order to, to do that, we've got to get that data into the into one repository where we can figure it out pretty quickly. So that's a huge initiative at yeah. Carbonite at the moment, is building out our data vaults and our data lakes and getting some accurate and good data governance as we feed this data into these data vaults with our analytics team. Yeah. And that's on the operational side. Yeah, that's on the operational side. So has what, you, what, has what Carbonite does as a service to your customers, which is a, well, I'm not going to say it's standard, but it's a, it's some really value complex, oh, value yeah. complex things that you do. Right. As, has the engineering that you've done there informed the process by which you're starting to re-engineer your digital footprint there has, on the operation yeah. side? I, I know that there are conversations that kind of happen between engineering and the product side and uh, the analytics side, but I think we'd love to see more of that more of that discussion happening. Uh, often what happens in, in any company, I think, is that you get the silos, as we know, but we, the more we can facilitate these discussions, I think the better it will be for us. Yeah. So as you look at the Informatica Toolkit, or the, the, the presence, <coughs> uh, where are you starting, where do you anticipate you're going to use more of uh, some of these tools, whether it's yeah. you know, Power Center, MDM, right. et cetera, as you try to do this, as you try to replicate the experience you just had with this EDI in the cloud yeah. transaction manager? That's a really good question. So, right, so we've used uh, application integration, so real-time application integration, which is a tool called ICRT. We've used uh, Informatica Cloud Services, which is kind of batch transferring of information to and fro. We've just, with the EDI, uh, implemented B2B Gateway, which is for that connectivity with partners. And I think one of the key things for us moving forward is going to be data governance. Mm. As we have these different sources and different companies coming in, we've got to make sure that we govern and steward and shepherd and, can I say, sheriff the data into its, into its rightful homes uh, accurately. So we're trying to do that at the moment and we're doing it through you know, spreadsheets and uh, SharePoint and Lucid charts and diagrams and Visio and uh, one, of the, one of the tools which I saw, which is, which is an Informatica acquisition, Informatica Axon, is a data governance tool. So it doesn't store any data, but it just helps you manage and control your data. I think that's going to be crucial for any company mm -hmm. which is working at uh, amalgamating systems and data from various sources. What's I the think biggest challenge with data integration? One of the things is, is companies have different views of the problem yeah. and opportunity. What's the biggest challenges that people have with you know, data? You know, this is going to sound silly, but the, one of the biggest challenges that we have right now is just defining our data defining what this term means. Even just this week, we've got one term, sale type, and still we're trying to figure out exactly what that means. That's one field <laughs> that we want to be able to present to the business, and we're still saying, well, hang on a second, what about this scenario? I mean, I think that that's the biggest deal, is, that you, yeah. is to have a uniform definition yeah. of your different metrics and KPIs and attributes across the business. But to do that, you've got to first off find, a, you've got to find the sources. Yeah. You've got to understand the degree to which synonyms are or are not synonyms. Absolutely. Then you've got to go through the social engineering of getting yep. people to agree. So does Claire, for example, do you see that as a facilitator for this process? I think it will be. I, I definitely think that will be, especially uh, with uh, the self-discovery or the uh, the intelligence structure discovery. I think that's going to be an exciting thing to see. Yeah, moving I really in the like future. that intelligence structure discovery. That, yeah. that is just that is that's that's not available in today's market. Yeah, place. yeah, that's right. But I think we we're, we're steps away from that. I really do think you so. guys are. Yeah, and it, as an industry, I think we are with Informatica partnering yep, with yep, Informatica. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Anything Informatica? How are you guys working with Informatica? You guys are as a customer. What specifically are you guys doing with them? It sounds like the EDI thing yeah. was an enabler. What else are you working with them on? Share some specific. Uh, yeah, that's use right. Cases. It's still at this stage. It's, it's kind of the. It's all cloud. We don't have any on-prem Informatica, so it's all the cloud stuff, and we use it extensively for our cloud systems, our cloud business applications. Marketo, Salesforce, Zora, NetSuite. Uh, those are the four big ones that we're using, and those are some of the de facto, I guess. So we're using Informatica to bridge the gap between these different systems uh, a lot, and so that's our kind of bread and butter with yeah. Informatica at the moment. How about developers on site for data and dealing with data? How do you guys organize staff and skill sets? Is it mostly engineering? 
Is there data analyst, data science? How do yeah, you guys? good question. We've got engineering, uh, which kind of sits under product. Then we've got IT business applications, which is where I fit in. And that's a combination of uh, kind of business analysts as well as uh, developers who build out these, a lot of the systems. And then we have an analytics team, VP of analytics with uh, advanced analytics, analytics platform, data lake, data vault. And so we, those are the three big groups that we look at where uh, Informatica splits across the, the different groups. And you guys pretty solid on Informatica, happy with them? Yes, very much yeah. so. Yeah, we've got a great partnership with them. Every time we've bought, it's not because it's been a hard sell at all. It's we've said, okay, we need that, <laughs> and uh, this is what we need. So we've not got a hard sell. How long have you been a customer? Just curious. Uh, uh, almost three years. So you're not like you're not legacy informatics. Not you're at not, all. You're not locked in from no, the old days. I, I've never even seen the on-prems. I've never even seen Power Center. I hope to never see it. <laughs> I'm not interested. <laughs> you're cloud native. Cloud. You're all cloud, cloud first, all the yeah. time. That's right. Um, how about you guys, multiple clouds? What kind of clouds architecture you guys have? Yeah, for, with Informatica? No, for you guys. Uh, if, if for us? We well, got Salesforce, Marketo. Yeah. Those are the things, all those business applications. Salesforce, Marketo, a little bit of hybrid stuff. We've got our own on-prem Do you have your own um, data center? Systems. We do have, for, as okay. Carbonite? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, okay. yeah. That's well, where that's we're storing all our that, customers' data. Yeah, you're, yeah. 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 So Would you put that in the cloud, customer data? Yeah, that is in fact moving to the cloud. Okay, you yeah. are. Yeah. But under your control, it's your it's effectively a true cloud. Yeah. So as you as you think about as you think about uh, working with Marketo, Salesforce, Zara, uh, I remember the last one you mentioned. Oh, that's sweet. As you look at those now four, Oracle. look <laughs> everybody, yeah. everybody is every all these SaaS companies are making a re, have a realization that yeah. if I can get the data, then I get the customer. Right. Are they starting to make it more or less easy for you to perform these integrations across how they handle things? Where do you think their willingness to expose their APIs, give more information about the metadata, yeah. et cetera, is going so that you can do a more effective job of bringing them together and creating derivative value out of these very rich cloud-based right. applications. Yeah, I think that's, a, that's an excellent question. And for me, as somebody who is not a developer, but as for me as somebody who's very, very interested in moving and blending and transferring and transforming data, I have to rely on a tool like Informatica because I don't want to go digging in the bowels of NetSuite to try and pull data out. I don't even want to have to write an API call. I honestly don't want to do that. Uh, and I don't really want my team to be doing that. I want to be able to point Informatica at a system and say, what have we got? So for me, that's crucial. So I think that's where part, uh, the partnership between a Salesforce and an Informatica, I'm relying on that. Uh, and I think uh, that those sources, like the NetSuite and the, and the Salesforce, I think that they're going to continue to hopefully have this uh, really good open partnership with these middleware or these integration tools. We, we have to have that. If we don't have that, we're stuck. Okay. Because then people are going to start breaking into Salesforce and breaking into <laughs> NetSuite to get the data, because we're going to get it one way or the other. Justin, right. great success story. I'd love to hear the cloud native yeah. being, you know, taking advantage of Informatica really highlights that, that they've got the modern approach. Right. Appreciate you coming on. Just yeah. go on, who's on the Carbonite uh, Applications Manager. This is theCUBE with coverage from Informatica World 2017. More live coverage here after this short break. Stay with us. <laughs>